guys welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles if you've been subscribed to the channel lately you'll know that the teaser for the Jurassic World trailer was launched over the weekend now the full trailer is out on Friday if you want to see more about those videos uh, the links are down below but today we're going to be taking a closer look at this uh, it's the gyrosphere vehicle that's featured in that teaser now we've just dived into Photoshop so we can uh, do a little bit of doodling over this image and I can point things out to you that are important um, but first of all let's talk about this device now a lot of fans have been complaining that Jurassic World looks too futuristic that it doesn't look very plausible um, they don't understand how this thing works where its wheels uh, you know why is it just a floating bubble hovering above the ground it doesn't seem realistic but actually this is a very plausible piece of tech and it's something that might come about in the near future so for those of you who remember the first Jurassic Park you'll remember that a lot of the technology featured in that film I was just on the cusp of becoming mainstream a good example of that is the CD-ROM uh, which took off in the 90s um, and after that probably more like the touch screens uh, which were also featured in Jurassic Park also motion tracking sensors and lots of other pieces of tech um, that were used in Jurassic Park are now used mainstream it may be that we see these being used um, all over the place in the near future now the word gyrosphere comes from gyroscope it's a Greek word that means circle and to look and mechanical gyroscopes typically comprise of a spinning wheel or disc in which the axle is free to assume any orientation so that means that this device can rotate this way it can rotate this way um, and it can rotate this way um, in this case uh, the orientation of the passengers here uh, is actually completely independent of the shell these are points that interact with this outer glass or perspex surface these are the actual driving motors for this gyroscope and what they're doing is essentially driving this rotation of the ball in the inverse direction so all of these little spheres are making this ball roll in the opposite direction which gives this vehicle movement. There's also another one down at the base of the feet here and because it's a ball it can get over most obstacles unless you come across a big rock or something this actually has a very wide surface area. Also this surface has these seam lines here and here. Now I'm assuming that this is probably the entrance way to the gyroscope. There's another one around the back I think as well there and I wouldn't be surprised that these panels actually line up um, exactly with these circles here so these glass panels move into position and line up with this area here and then it allows the passengers because there's one on the opposite side allows the passengers to just get out of either side you could get some really um, amazing control over this vehicle much more than you would if you're in a car because a car can only go in sort of like a, a linear fashion it can only drive straight forward or go around corners whereas this device can go any which way it likes from a static position and gyrospheres um, are not a new idea uh, here's an example of a gyrosphere that was developed at Colorado State University in 2009 and you can see it navigating its way out of a hole something that a car might find tricky to do and here's some footage of it rolling around being controlled uh, via remote control um, so it's very plausible that we could see this technology um, sooner rather than later it's just that it's the type of technology like a Segway where it might take a little bit of time for uh, customers to get used to the product uh, but once it takes off in terms of popularity it could actually be a viable form of hobby transport and then eventually become uh, mainstream 